This week, the media will plaster the airwaves with one photo of a Hispanic mom and her two kids running away from tear gas at the U.S. border. But what they won't show you are all the videos of these same migrants violently assaulting border agents and trying to tear down our border fence. So since they won't tell you the truth, I will. Hey guys, I'm Brittany Hughes. Welcome back to Reality Check on MRC TV. Now this is about the only photo that the media will be circulating for the next few days, so gear up for it. Prepare for another endless round of left-wing talking heads preaching about the evils of the Trump administration and our border security for daring to tear gas innocent women and children fleeing violence. We'll hear about how right-wingers are basically Nazis for refusing to open our borders up to hordes of refugees clamming for sanctuary, and all of these sermons will be backed up by this one image because it's all they've got. So for any of you with your heads still buried in the sand over there, let me dispel this little myth. Here's what the border between Tijuana and San Diego really looked like this weekend. Hundreds of wannabe illegal aliens bum-rushed a border fence and either tried to tear it down or just climb over it. One group actually managed to rip a section out of the ground. When that ultimately didn't work, they started hurling bottles and rocks at U.S. border security. Only after the mob had broken through the fence and agents were getting hit with projectiles did they bring out the tear gas, just to keep from being overrun. You know, as any other sovereign nation on planet Earth would do. And you know, speaking of planet Earth, who on it, in their right mind, thinks that the way to ask a country for asylum is to show up with a mob and tear down its border fence and assault its people? Who thinks that's about asylum? When you apply to come into a country legally with the intent to assimilate into their culture and become a peaceful and productive member of that society, that is called immigration. When you show up without permission, storm their borders and assault their people, that's called invasion, and you deserve to be treated as an invader. This is not a difficult concept to understand. Now, those who traveled with this caravan have had multiple chances to do things the right way. They could have applied for asylum the minute they left their home country. They could have gone to a U.S. Embassy and applied for asylum once they reached Mexico. In fact, Mexico even offered them asylum there, and they refused. They could have shown up to an official U.S. port of entry and asked for asylum, and they didn't. Instead, they chose to attack a border fence and assault our law enforcement. So clearly, this is not just about escaping some craptastic neighborhood in Honduras. It's about getting to America, regardless of whether you've got to beat somebody over the head with a rock to do it. And now, thanks to all of this nonsense, Border Patrol has had to close a legal port of entry into San Diego, meaning that those who legally work in the city and commute from Mexico can't get in. So thanks for that. So I tell you what, for all you liberal bleeding hearts out there who haven't proposed the first plan as to how all of these people are going to live or work or feed their families if we were to fling open the doors, but who have found all the time in the world to criticize this administration for trying to protect its own people, here's a thought. How about you head on down to any Central American country, break through their border, and start hurling rocks and bottles at their agents and see what happens. Free tip, their prisons aren't nearly as nice as ours. In the meantime, God bless the men and women who put their lives on the line every day at our border to keep our ungrateful nation safe. Because a country without borders is not a country at all. And that's your Reality Check America. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.